Hey, this is Biswajit and welcome to Curiosity Squared. Here I got a no calculator question. You have to calculate the value of logarithm of 3 to the base of 2 is which of the following options? Option A between 1 and 1 third and 1 and 1 half. Option B between 1 and 1 half and 1 and 2 thirds. Option C between 1 and 2 thirds and 2 or option D between 2 and 3. And let me tell you guys this question is adapted from an Oxford admissions test. So as always pause the video if you like to give this problem a try and when you are ready keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. going to the solution let me tell you guys this problem is an example of calculating an upper and lower bound this is a very useful skill in higher mathematics particularly if you take a university course like real analysis so how can we solve this problem let's assume our given expression that is log of 3 to the base of 2 is equal to x by the rules of logarithms this means 2 to the power of x equal to 3. Now we raise both the sides to the power of 3. Notice that 3 cube is equal to 27 and 27 is less than 32 which is equal to 2 to the power of 5. This means that 2 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 3 will be less than 32 which is equal to 2 to the power of 5. Consequently. 2 raised to the power of 3x is less than 2 to the power of 5, which then means 3x is less than 5. We then divide both the sides by 3 and get x is less than 5 over 3, which is equal to 1 and 2 thirds. This is an upper bound on x. Now we will do the same sort of exercise to get a lower bound. We start out the very similar way but now we will raise both the sides to the power of 2. 3 squared is then equal to 9. 9 is greater than 8. And 8 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 3. This means 2 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 2 is greater than 2 raised to the power of 3. Which then means 2 raised to the power of 2x is greater than 2 to the power of 3. So then 2x is greater than 3. We then divide both the sides by 2. So x is greater than 3 halves, which is equal to 1 and 1 half. And this is the lower bound. So now we are gonna put these two inequalities together and we get x is between 1 and 1 half and 1 and 2 thirds. And that's our option B. Unbelievable. We solve this all without using a calculator. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to Curiosity Squared to get the newest videos. And please share this beauty of mathematics with your friends and family. So thanks for watching and thanks for your support.